Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rav Dukan. We are back with five things we learned. Manchester United 7 and Barnsley 0. Guys, there won't be all these flashy, uh, you know, videos here in the can on the channel. But you know what, guys, please help us hit that milestone because with 10,000 subscribers, we can make a penny a day and we can bring in people to work for the channel and get a, you guys very good content. So please start today by just liking the video, subscribe to the channel, push it to different areas the weather is good united has seven goals three points no have moved to the next stage happy days so let's get to the number one which is very important that i notice i don't know if you notice this number one is the fact that united are becoming more confident in a way that ten Hag is kind of turn using his, uh, his i mean he's trying of mixing his players in terms of turning the the, the, the squad it is very important i remember even back in the days of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, where in such games you will see a lot of first team players starting this gives us a vibes of say alex ferguson you remember back then when say alex ferguson was playing i mean players like small inning games bringing in youth players in like evans in this type of tone games and also you know jose Mourinho bringing in players like you know uh mark Tomini in this game so i am so happy that that's what uh of, of the of the rotation that is going on with manchester united and guys much like very tenor for this please you could hit the guy you can want him to be sacked but let's let's be even-handed here guys please i mean uh yes we are not a big community but a few of you who come into this community i would love to see some level of you know even-handed you see what i mean so i think ten Hag has uh has uh change the team in such a way that we can see it visibly and i'm going to tell you another point which is very important but my number first thing i saw is that level that we can rotate a, a team and that's so helpful for a team because you know what confidence is, shouldn't be only for the first 11 but confidence has to be for all the players you have to feel involved i play football even everybody in the system the whole stakeholders have to get themselves involved so guys i think that's one of the first thing i must see number two guys number two it is also visual when have you manchester united left a first half with three goals advantage when have manchester united won a game over five score five five goals i think this is the first time um uh, we have a, a manager here in eric tenag having so scores so when he was asked a question even pre i mean post match about if his worries are over and he said no he, he I mean, if his worries against liverpool are over he said he never had worries against liverpool the thing is that manchester united we always brought managers but we didn't bring the squad does Eric Ten Hag have his minuses from a fan point of view? Yes. But do we have the players that can play the way he wants? You can say almost, because most of the players we're signing now are also giving a head. Uh, yeah, the manager also gives a head, no, head ups to bring the players in. Most of them, I can't say all, but you can see that most of the players are playing now. Players that have played with Eric Ten Hag before. Hence, I must say he has a hand in this player. So uh, that level of uh, we'll move a certain level, a certain step, we can see that uh, uh, from the way we, we brought in players uh, in this game, the way we changed and brought our first team players to have kind of a warm up 15 minutes in this game. This was a fantastic uh, uh, opportunity for the manager to prove to us the fan that not because we can win games that we have a squad and give also everybody a uh, um, uh, no a slack you see a slack to express themselves so that's number two number three <sighs> marcus rashford you know most of us including me i have been um, an advocate for marcus rashford even to be sold at times i think marcus rashford if marcus rashford can score us 20 goals this season he's already on four goals no three goals right if he can score 20 uh, goals this season I bet you guys come back here. I think United will clearly be, will be comfortable in the top four. I didn't say if he doesn't score, we cannot be. But what I'm trying to say is that Marcus Rashford can score us 20 goals this season. We will comfortably be in the top four. That's a fact. So I'm very happy for him scoring there yesterday. It gives that level of confidence which is needed. Sorry, guys. I'm living somewhere in the center, you know, the high. I want to close the windows, but guess what? It, it is boiling today in, uh, in Glasgow. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, so uh, Marcus Rashford is a great factor here in the whole setup. I think Brad Rashford coming back in form is very important for Manchester United. He's a uh, star man, let's face it. He's gain, gain, gaining that maturity. And most of all, not the goals. Not the goals he scored against a team which I expect them to win comfortably. But it's the fact that it gives him that confidence to express himself even with topper team. So that's a good fact. Number three, shoot it out. <laughs> Number three is that we are seeing what ten Hag wants to do if you i said this yesterday on my my um my post-match reaction 
if you have noticed carefully or go and watch the next game against Crystal Palace, right? When Manchester United goes on the wing, the players don't go and play for themselves. Even back then when Mason Green was playing for Manchester United, when we were in the wing, players tried to think of themselves. Anthony did that once, but most of the time he tried to be collective. The way a good, you know, drills in, in, in the final third. It is so important. When City does that, the whole world makes it, oh. And when Manchester United does it, it's like, oh, they try. This uh, shows a proof that, yes, the, uh, the, the managers have taken this thing on board. Marcus Rashford, I said it previously, he's been very collective, big up to him. That's the part of his game that I'm so worried he is. He, he's good on the ball on his feet, but collective-wise, I don't think Marcus Rashford has that influence. So he, he, for him building that part of his game, it brings him a lot of um, power, guys. Guys, if you're getting value on this video, please click the like on the video and watch the end because I have an announcement, which I think you guys, uh, some of you with a nice heart can react. But okay, wait. Number four. Five, I think I have a number five already. Uh, number five is uh, I just want to say that uh, what we saw yesterday wasn't magic. It wasn't. There was nothing really uh, uh, special. I mean, the brand Manchester United is one of the top three powerful brands in the world, if not the most powerful brand. But what we saw yesterday was a statement of intent, not the not the victory, not the goal, but the way the team is organized. That the manager feels very confident. And uh, I really think Eric Fenach's the real, uh, resilience of Eric Fenach has been something which people have overseen, uh, have, have put that behind and not spoken about. It's not easy. I spoke to a United fan the other day. Yeah, uh, it was at Old Trafford, yes. I spoke to a United fan and who said that, you know what, I feel sorry for Eric Fenach because if his name was Gary Tenhak, it would have been easier. Uh, for him, uh, you know, it's not easy to to make a mark in a society where you didn't grow up in. Don't ask me. I've I've, I've lived in many countries, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so um, it's not that the people hate you. It's just that you need to because the people in this society they also have people who are ambitious as you. So for you to excel, you have to really be the best. That's just the way it works. I think it works in most societies. I wouldn't say all, but most. So I, I feel a little bit sorry for it. Tenak, sorry maybe sorry is not the right word because you know you can't be sorry for someone who makes millions and, and you don't have a penny but guess what I want to say this I want to say as a fan of Manchester United I want you guys fans to give Eric Tenag that support I think positivity brings positivity hence uh, I know that if we can be with the manager try to see what he's doing as I said in my preview um, game that look I mean the manager with the players we see only match days yes we have our opinion on match days but the manager understands more than us in terms of who to start and who to start. He won't get it right always. We have our opinions. But uh, he stays. I mean, very few people watch Carrington in uh, training. Very few. I'm working very hard to be going and watching uh, training games with Manchester United. But we shall see. That will be for the future if things uh, uh, settle the way. Um, uh, let me put it away. The way the Lord wants it to settle. Yeah. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, as I said, I was going to do an announcement here. Short video. Thanks for you staying here um, over eight minutes. Guys, I'm in a very tough situation. I'm living in a place where I don't even have internet. That's why I normally don't, um, I don't do live streams in the morning where I, where I used to do. So, please, guys, for those of you who want to support the project, we have, we have ways you can support the project, right? You can, uh, you can, you can be a member. You can, you know monthly you, you can uh, do super tanks when we are live we are you can do it now because we are barely live but you can be a member and you can also support in any way maybe super tanks even when you watch the game on a pre view so please guys i would love to get your input if you can support us that i'm not the type of guy who asks for this but i'm in a situation which i cannot disclose now but uh, as a small community we are going to express ourselves as time goes on because uh, it's kind of legal so Let's uh, keep it that way. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's my those are my five things we learned. Uh, the game Manchester United versus Barnsley, which I will tell you the results. Um, maybe not us winning matters. It's the way we won, the way we played, and uh, I don't want to get over the moon on that because you know it's other. It's just a, another team which is not that. Uh, no, it's not a Premier League opponent, right? But guys, we'll be coming back with our Crystal Palace game. This is this are not time for all the transfers. These are not time for making noise. These are time for talking about things that happen. And we'll do our lineup. We'll do our preview. So stay tuned, guys. If you want to help us, please make sure you click the like, subscribe. If you have some finance, please be a member because we have some. We are trying to download things for you guys, the members. Uh, so it will be special. 
so make sure you do so thanks for all of you i miss you all guys i miss you all from prince to hannah the best to all of you guys who will join our stream stream we'll be doing streams don't worry i am the one saying i'm somewhere i keep to my words anyway great speaking to you i'll talk to you soon bye bye